once you have transferred all of your books from your old policies into your new policies, the next step is to begin deleting those old material type policies. To do that, once again we go from our circulation screen, from edit down to system preferences. Once you're in system preferences, choose under the circulation row, policies. Look on the right hand side to your item policies and you're going to see your old policies and your new policies. Hopefully at this point everything has been moved into the new policies. So we're going to choose one of the old policies. I'm going to choose the one that says 11. I'm going to come down to the minus sign at the bottom of the screen and it will say are you sure you want to remove item policy 11 and I'm going to say yes and I'm going to save that change as long as the old policy is empty it will let me delete so I'm going to choose 12 choose the minus are you sure yes then I'm going to save that change and I go to the next one and I click my minus sign. Oh, it tells me the policy cannot be removed. It is still in use by one title. So I'm going to click OK. And the next thing I'm going to do is find out what item is keeping me from emptying or deleting that material type. So I'm going to close out of System Preferences. And this time I'm going to go to Tools. And I'm going to go to reports. When I get to reports, I'm going to go to copies, the copies tab. I'm going to select the plus sign and I'm going to build my report. To build that report, I'm going to choose as my report type, copy list simple with barcodes because it's going to be a lot easier to locate these books if my report gives me the barcodes. I'm going to sort by copy policy and I'm going to select by once again copy policy. I'm going to choose since we were working with policy 13 I'm going to choose from 13 through 13 because I only want to find out the problems that I'm having with this particular policy. I'm going to see why it would not delete. I'm going to click print. And this is the report. There's one item left in policy 13 and there's going to be some sort of problem with it. The number is 18021. So I would print that report so I would have that in front of me. Close these out and I'm going to go to show items. I'm going to go to the magnifying glass at the bottom of the screen and I'm going to type that barcode 18021 in the barcode blank and tell it to search. Here's my book. I'm going to sing Black American Spirituals Volume 2. Now the first thing I notice on this is there is a call number missing. And because there was no call number, that book was unable to be sorted. So that's the first thing. So I'm going to unlock this record. And I'm also going to look behind on copy information. So there's my barcode. Policy is 13 on this side. I go back to title. The policy is still showing up as policy 13. So what I need to do with this book is I need to get a call number for it. The easiest way to get a call number for this book is to come to the top to the gear, click on the gear, and tell it mark search. I'm going to see if you can find a mark record for me. And it found several. I can scroll down and maybe look at the first one. Maybe look at the next one. 
What I like to look for is a record that shows several subject headings. I always like it if they have a summary. There will not always be a summary available. And I like to scroll down and see if I can find a nice Dewey number. Let's look at this one. You want to find the most complete record that you can find. Once I found the record that I like, I'm going to select that record, click Save, and it's going to pull that information into my record. Now, the first record I looked at had a nice Dewey number. It was 783.7. .7. Then I'm going to space once, and I'm going to type the first three letters of the author's last name. So I'm going to type B R Y. Now, because it's a 700, I need to choose the policy for the 700s. I use the drop down box. I come down to 700 and I choose that policy. I also have to click, click the copy information tab because I also have to change the policy on this side. So I choose the policy and then I save it. Once I've done that, I can close out of that record. I'm going to go right back to my system preferences, back to my circulation policy. I'm going to choose policy 13, which is the old policy we're trying to get rid of, and I'm going to click the minus sign. And this time, are you sure you want to remove item policy 13? And I tell it yes, and it lets me remove it because Everything is finally emptied from that policy. So basically, this is the procedure that I'm going to choose. I'm going to go to my next number, which is 14. I'm going to see if I can delete it. If it says, are you sure? I can say yes and save it. Remember, it's only going to let me delete it if it's empty. Let's try 15. So we've gotten rid of 15. Let's try this other old policy. All right, policy 16 can't be removed because it says there are 44 titles and 48 copies still in that group. So once again, I'm going to close this window. I'm going to go back to Tool, to Reports. I'm going to choose the Copies tab plus sign. I'm going to get a list by barcode number, sort by copy policy, select by copy policy, and this time I'm looking for policy number 16. And since we know there were 44 items on that list, minimum, I'm going to print that list And once I have that list printed, I'll go item by item. I'll pull up each thing, each record, and see if I can tell what, what the problem is with that item. One thing I've noticed is, you see this one is SC, Story Collection. I don't think we added a policy in there for Story Collection. So one thing I'll be able to do with this is go back, add that Story Collection policy, and then batch process all of those items into that policy. And to do that, I'll go back to Edit. I will go to System Preferences, go back to my Circulation Policy, and double check, scroll down, and sure enough, I don't see a policy for Story Collection. So I'm going to click my plus sign, type Story Collection. The short code is SC, and tell it OK, and save it. To move those items into that policy, 
once again, I'll go to Tools, I'll go to Utilities, select the Copies tab, scroll down, Transfer, I'll select the Copies tab, scroll down until I find Change Copy Policy. Once again, I'll choose the Selection tab. We're going to replace information. We're going to replace the old copy policy with, this time, Story Collection. So I scroll down until I find that new policy. We want to be sure that we modify titles and copies. And I will select by copy call number, and I'll start with SC, end with SC, and tell it to run. And the way I can check, did everything moved? I'll go back to Edit, System Preferences, Policies. I try to see if it will let if it will let me delete 16, and if it does, then I moved everything into the new policy. And really, that's all there is to it. You transfer your items. You check the policy. If there's something in there. You go to you look up the books by barcode and you see what the problem is.